Hey everybody, welcome back to the Do Work LT. We're coming to you today with a bit of a different style of video. I generally am not one for an unboxing per se, because I'm not an eight year old on YouTube opening toys, but every once in a while, maybe we can be compelled. And that day has come. We have just taken receipt of a highly sought after pistol, one that a lot of people have wanted for some time, that our friends at Langdon Tactical Technologies have recently dropped on us again. And that is the Beretta 92 Elite RDO. So, we're going to share a little bit with the, about this with you. Um, we got this last week. Langdon pumped these out really quickly. Um, I think I did my order two weeks ago, um, and I think I had it in about six days. So I want to change the angle up, give you a really good view of this Beretta 92 Elite with the special Langdon RDO feature that I think we're all going to love. All right. Welcome back. We are going to kind of show you what comes in the box when you get a Langdon Tactical Beretta 92 Elite RDO. So, of course you get this super cool sticker. I'm starting to build up a little collection of these now and I'm not ashamed of it. So getting into the box, we see kind of comes how you'd expect any pistol to. A lot of little extras over there, warranties and uh, quality control certificates from Langdon and some other stuff. Very helpful. We also have some parts that were taken out of the original gun, like the trigger bar, some springs, um, all of which have been changed by the fine people at Langdon. So what you are getting when you order an LTT Elite 92 this is the model. Um, this model includes the NP3 treatment on all metal parts. We'll talk a little bit more about that. You get the Breda 92 Elite with the RDO setup and three 18 round magazines. All of which, these are the, stand, the Metgar magazines that are 18 plus one. There are three of them. They are NP3 coated as well, and that's a pretty good feature. I mean, three, three good magazines, that means you are ready to do stuff right out of the bat, right off the bat. So, good magazines, good to go. Let's get this out of the way and talk more about the gun. So, I wanted to kind of go over this because I was really impressed Kind of going down the list of the features that Langdon does, the improvements that they make, and the attention to detail that I was immediately impressed with. That's why I wanted to get this thing out before I really put a bunch of rounds through it. I wanted to kind of just give you my first impressions of it because I'm very much impressed. Um, we'll get into the trigger in a few minutes, but because I think that is absolutely ridiculous in a in all the right ways I really appreciate it so you see all of the contrasting metal parts when you're looking at this and that is the NP3 coating going on that is that reduces friction between metal moving parts and that is a feature in the I think it's maybe the middle level of uh, of offering on the 92 elites. You can get it without the NP3 coating. You can also get it with a carry bevel. Uh, this one is not the carry bevel. That is the that is the top level. This is the mid level that Langdon offers on this setup. So kind of getting into what running down the list, one of the first things you really notice are the custom Langdon tactical VZ grips. They're a great profile. I'm really pleased with how they feel in the hand, just kind of right off the bat. Um, I have pretty large hands. This is a pretty large gun, and I'm really pleased with how that feels in hand. 
Going down the list, you'll see forward cocking serrations on the slide, which we like. You'll see that this is a G model, so it is a decocker instead of a safe. I'm not into uh, a safe setup gun. I don't. I don't want to be working safeties or anything like that. But having a decocker, it is an ambidextrous decocker that has been extended out so that you can't access it right-handed or left-handed with your chosen RDO. While we're looking at the deck where you're going to mount your red dot optic, I think it's a kind of a statement of attention to detail. You see the mar markings from Langdon ensuring that none of these, we'll always know if there's any movement on any of these screws. The operating components of this slide have been completely re-engineered re to get this amazing mounting solution on this Beretta. So you see it has high suppressor style sights that you know a lot of people either ignore that as a need, the need for backup iron sights if you are going to run a red dot optic. Langdon takes care of that from Jump Street, you're good to go. Um, we have forward cocking serrations as I said. We have the G model decock only, no safeties here. We have a stainless steel barrel that is crowned. So if you look at that, that is a very helpful attention to detail. If you have any inclination to run the piss out of this gun, you will appreciate that they chose to crown the barrel. And we understand that by crowning the barrel, if it does take an insult from pavement or any kind of things you're, you're dealing with out in the real world, it will not foul up the Lance Grooves rifling of your barrel. And that is a terrific thing. Getting, we have a bevel around your trigger guard. We have a skeletonized stainless, or we have a, yeah, a skeletonized stainless hammer. We have, again, an MP3 coating on your hammer and your trigger. I really am kind of pleased in looking at this Check out my mag release here. I'm pretty impressed with kind of the robust construction of it. I also like how it stands off from the grip, but not in a way that it would kind of be easily pushed in and dump a mag. Um, it takes a bit of pushing, but we don't want it to be too soft, but it is a bigger it is a slightly larger button that does stand off from the left side of the grip. I dig that. Let's take a minute and open this thing up because I want to show you some of the internals going on that you might find impressive. You know what? I'll just keep it rolling and get this thing going. So our GD card, G model decocker there. Check this out. This up here. All right, we have a stainless, we have a steel guide rod. That is a nice improvement. And everything comes out here with our stainless steel barrel. Again, there's a better look at the crowning. What else do we have going on here? That's most of what we have going. Well, let's put this thing back together. Let you take one little gander at it again. The quality and attention to detail is immediately apparent when you open this up. Let's check out this trigger, okay? Now, um, I'm not very well versed in the in the double action, single action world as yet. And I really wanted to go down that rabbit hole um, just because I always use striker fired pistols. Um, I wanted something, I just wanted to try it out and see what it was like. And I felt like this was gonna be a great way to get into it. I like really good triggers. Um, most stock triggers I'm, I'm not gonna be cool with. But this one, the double action is smooth. And it gets right there to the wall 
and then breaks. Now, here's the magic. Get my hand kind of out of the way so you can see this reset. That's the reset. That's the reset. I don't know where we're at because I don't have, um, I haven't measured it or put a weight on it or anything yet, but I know there is virtually no, I mean the travel, the, the reset on the single action, your pre-travel on the single action It's just, it's magical. <laughs> I think this is going to be outstanding. I wanted to get this out and let you guys take a look at it real quick before, um, well, actually while I'm kind of waiting on a couple of holsters to show up so I can get out and do some running. Check out that. Langdon putting a little bit of Langdon love into the slide there. I think that's pretty cool. But, sorry guys, hope it wasn't too cheesy, but I had to do a bit of an unboxing and show you what was up with the Langdon Tactical 92 Elite RDO. More to come.